All right, hey, what's up guys, Skylord here. Today I'm going to be doing a video and also a repair of an original Corduo MacBook. As you can see, this is the launch model. This one came out in 2006 and is basically in working condition. There's only one problem though. This keyboard that's on it, the power button is shot. I don't know what happened. This was actually on my friend's early 2008 MacBook and I was in the middle of repairing it and when I went to go put the keyboard back down, the power button was broken, so for now, I did buy a replacement keyboard that said everything was working. The only thing I don't know is that this ribbon cable will work on it, because this one here has an orange cable, this one has a silver cable, but yeah, I'm going to do the repair. I won't show the whole process, I find that it's probably just too boring, but anyway, I also find it interesting how they left these keys open. If they were to seal that, it probably would have made this water resistant-ish, but anyway, yeah, I'll be back once I have the keyboard on the machine that's currently on, this one here, off. Alright guys, I'm back. I got all the screws out, which as you can see here on my screw mat was a lot. Once you get that out, you can push it from the palm rest, and it does require moving the battery, also a little RAM bracket, but then all I gotta do, you open this up, and you're inside of the laptop. Now I'm gonna unplug this little cable right here and possibly cut myself. Okay, there you go. This keyboard is bad, so let me sit down for the dust with the wind. Anyway, here's the inside of the laptop though, and there's my uh, very <laughs> ghetto mounted hard drive. Had to do this because uh, unfortunately the uh, original oh, that wasn't in all the way. Oops. Anyway, uh, the original caddy that came with this laptop unfortunately is kind of missing. So yeah, and also this optical drive is not original to the machine. This one is actually from my friend's 2008 MacBook. I had to take this one out as well as I had to take out this bezel along here to kind of get his in fully functional condition. But yeah, there's your uh, Intel Core Duo and Intel GMA graphics, your fan, your two RAM sticks, which these are two 512 meg sticks for a total of one gig, airport card, just your main board area, all your ports alongside which, I'll go ahead and actually mention here, you have your MagSafe port, which is your first ever computer to use it, FireWire port, a display port of some sort, don't know exactly what it is, FireWire port, two USB ports, 2.0, head audio, I think that's audio out, audio in, I don't know, the top's worn off, and a Kensington lock. And this is where your battery would usually go, but as you can tell, I have it out of the machine. It's maybe not necessarily, well, I don't know where it is, but it's maybe not necessarily the most safe battery because it is like open, but anyway. Hard drive goes here. This one, like I said, is, or not, well, not like I said. This one is a 250 gig Fujitsu hard drive. The original Hitachi 80 gig drive I do have. I don't know where. Uh, it is still working, but I don't know how reliable it is. Uh, DVD RW drive and CD RW drive are the Apple super drive, as they want to call it. And yeah, that's the inside. And then here's your uh, exhaust fan vent in the back. And also, I just thought of this now, why the keyboard, of course this is the broken one, why the keyboard has this here. Might it be for vents for the fan? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get the new keyboard, which is over there on my uh, nightstand, and I'm going to put it on this laptop, and I will be right back. Hi right, guys, I'm back, and here's the laptop. It's finished. Unfortunately, my table, my, my counter here is black, so it kind of scuffed up this MacBook on the top and kind of messed up but yeah um here it is basically fully done unfortunately the keyboard if you can maybe see that there is slightly slightly coming up just a little bit but regardless this is not the keyboard meant for this model um if you take a look i'll put the old keyboard here if you look at the uh, function keys right here you will see that this has your brightness and volume and unlock and that this doesn't even have an unlock and the speaker stuff is over here the media controls are there and there's no F7, I, did, I don't know, that key doesn't work in the operating system too well anyway. Brightness is in the same spot. F3, this one has your dashboard little control, don't know if that'll work with that. And then you also have your, well, I mean, mission control and then your dashboard. So, yeah, I don't know about that. Um, anyway, so, well, this keyboard, like I said, the power button does not work. Um, going, well, actually, hold on, can I do this on camera? So that would be amazing. Um, anyway, but here's the charger cord. This is actually from my mom's MacBook Pro. And that's just kind of how this is having to work for now. Um, it does not give a light for some reason, which is actually rather odd. Yep, we're working. Does not have an operating system. Top of that, I think its screen is ever so slightly yellow. You can't see that. Yep. All right, I'm going to make a 10.6.8 disk. That or I can see if I can USB boot it. That might be easier. Um, anyway. Ah, what the heck, I'll just make a disc, and I'll be back, guys. Here's the old G5 iMac. Unfortunately, I tried to burn a, a DVD, and it kept saying that the DVD was too small, even though I think the file is only like four gigabytes. 
and this is a known working 4.7 gigabyte DVD drive, maybe maybe a dual layer one, whatever. So right now I'm going to be restoring a uh, restoring the installer over to my external hard drive here, which this is actually the 320 gig hard drive I pulled out of this Toshiba laptop right here, which my phone's out of focus. Thank you for doing that. Okay, anyway, so you know, sorry, fingers in the way. So that's how that works. Uh, yeah, once again, I'll be back once this guy is bootable. Update on this computer, of course, there's no operating system on here, but the weird thing is, I do believe this laptop came with Mac OS 10.4 Tiger from the factory. Now, as you will see here, this disk I know is working fine. I installed that on a G3 clamshell and an iBook G4. As you see, there's no folder anymore because it thinks it's getting boot disk. But there's a little bit of a problem, you just have to hear it. I need the option boot. I don't know. Anyway, um, but watch this. It just spits it out. I know the disc is working, and I know this runs Tiger. I know this does. Unfortunately, I don't know why it does not want to boot that disc. But oh well. Like I said, my uh, G5 iMac is over there booting it up. Oh, wait. It's done. Hold on, let me get it all hooked up and see if it supports USB booting. Guys, okay, I'm back. It's set up. Oh no. Oh, does this guy support USB booting? Oh wait, no, let me. I don't have a. It's not up a disk burn. I can't get it. I can't pick up this disk. Okay, let me pop this little. Let me pop this little fella in. Oh uh, well. Touchpad works. Oh yeah, that disk drive is screwed up. Yeah, hard drive? Is that hard drive just... Sorry if I need the camera there, that was terrible. Brick, well that hard drive, I think the internal hard drive is actually needing a bit of an improvement. Oh well. That fan is spinning up a lot too. I think this one needs a new paste, needs repasting. I don't have any thermal paste on me though. Ah, darn it. Well, I don't know. Does this battery work? Well, the answer is that. <laughs> oh, please, there goes my charger cord. Oh well. I'll be back once I actually have this thing with an installer booted. So yeah. Okay, right, took forever to get this on. This little piece of tape on. But this is the 250 gig hard drive I did stick in there. This one is from a, uh, I think a Core Duo MacBook Pro actually that I got through work, but. I got this hard drive sitting in the uh, trash can, or the uh, trash can, the little recycle bin, and the guys are about to take this, and I actually snagged this right quick and shoved it in my cooler, because I have to bring a cooler to work. I don't know. They do have a fridge there, but whatever. All right, I'm going to stick this little fella in, and then I'm going to go on ahead and uh, reassemble it and see if that works at all. About to turn this on. Here's the battery. This one had a top to it. But unfortunately, the, uh, I don't think this battery works anymore, so do that thing. There's the top here right there. I think with the phone scraped off. Anyway, oh, my charger's not here. No, charger, where'd you go? Uh, whatever. Okay, I'll just take this, just throw it right all along the front, and I'll just... How the hell am I going to do this? I'm knocking off my soda can. All right, time to take this thing up, see if it does anything. Hello? Hopefully it'll just boot straight to the installer. That would be kind of cool if I could do that with an internal SATA connection, which is right there. No! It's about to say. I was like, damn it, it did pick up it. Alright, uh, I'll see if this works, guys, and I'll be back, because this is probably going to take a little bit to boot. Boot time is a lot faster than a CD. Alright, let's go on ahead and start setting this little fella up. Now, hopefully, and hopefully, this will work, and it can just install over the installer on here. But, yep. He's working, it's probably gonna be nice and snappy too. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is nice and snappy. Oops, touch my camera. Gathering disk information. Now, if it does detect the uh, CD, then 
Now I'm actually going to probably have to partition the drive. That won't matter though. Is it actually letting me erase it? No, it's not. MS-DOS, FATU. That one's formatted. Now, oh, break. Whatever. Okay, well, I'll go on ahead, set this little fella up, and hopefully this will go by decently fast. Rather happy about this. So this is going to be the internal hard drive, but I hooked up by USB to install this. But the internal hard drive on here, which I think sits right beneath this guy, is what has the installer on it. Is this retarded? Yes, it is. And holy crap, it's going to take some time. Anyway, this is a completely retarded. But, you know, it'll work. And anyway, one thing I also wanted to say is the condition of the computer is pretty good. Keyboard looks nice, everything like that. There's only your chip right here, but that's common with these. But the one thing that's in the best of condition in this guy is the screen hinge. This thing is, like, perfect. Well, except for the fact it is slightly yellowed. You guys can see that really nice over the camera. The screen hinge works fine. As you can see here, it only wobbles if I kind of push on it. But as you can see, I'm doing a little pressure. Nothing much. And on top of that, it works really nicely. It's tight. Not like my MacBook Pro type, but it's very nice in the screen hinge department. Past that, this computer works fine. Also, I might find an OEM battery, even if it's dead or not, just to stick it in there so it doesn't like scrape this kind of corner here, like on my desk especially. But anyway, I'm going to let this install, and I will be back with you guys. All right, we're getting somewhere. Just got past the Apple logo. So what are we doing? All right, I think we're booting up to the installer. It's off this. Top of that, it's not a different setting because there's my MacBook Pro over there. Yes, that is a PlayStation controller. It does work with it. All right, well, we're at the setup. I'm gonna set this up and I'll go to the home screen. Yeah, kind of interesting little thing. I'll actually kind of leave it on this. You guys can watch this. Kind of long. Let me put every single hello, and you can't skip this. But yeah, that's that. I'll be back once it's set up. I see the name. It picks up my 5G extension. I mean, not even my phone. Or I think my iPad does that. Oh, wow, I did not know this could detect 5G networks. That is surprising. Alright guys, I'm back. This guy has OS 10.6.0 installed, so the original install of Snow Leopard. And it is working fine, unfortunately, like I said, the keyboard is bulging right there. I'm going to take care of that eventually so I can straighten that out. But for now, the laptop does work. And I did test out this battery, I put the top back on. It does not want to charge, so screw that battery, I'll just throw it on my bed. Okay, um, this computer works pretty much fine. Like I said, the battery, there's no battery installed, that's the only problem with it. Um, also the charger light does not want to turn on. I don't know if that's just a computer related problem. And also I did put the hard drive internal, which it actually sits here. So it's now internal. Um, it does take a little bit to boot, but no. Oh, wow. About 50 seconds, that ain't bad. And there you go. We're to a usable desktop. Unfortunately, this one suffers a little bit of problem. My network kind of does cause, and that is that... Oh. It's that I need to actually do something with the airport. I think I need to disable IPv6 on these so my internet won't screw it up. I don't know why it does that. My MacBook Pro over there, uh, it, this guy it works just fine, but this guy, any older computer, even my G5 iMac up there, which you can hardly see because of the focus. But anyway, um, these laptops are, or any older computer, I don't know why it does it, but it does that. So I need to disable IPv6. So I guess that's really it. I mean, I'm, I don't know, I'll just run updates so that you guys know and without actually showing it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please rate and comment for more. This is my uh, late 2006 original MacBook. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Oh, sorry guys about that. I actually forgot to show you guys specifications of the laptop. I don't know how I forgot that. But anyway, so this guy here has a 2 gigahertz Intel Core Duo, 1 gig of RAM. And I can add in more if I wanted to. I don't know if I want to do that necessarily. Anyway. But yeah, there's your basic specs. I mean, SATA, little thing, let's see what this SATA connection. The internal Fujitsu hard drive is a 250 gig hard drive. I might get the 80 gig one back in here if I feel like it. Yeah, here's your two 512 meg sticks, and they're both okay. Graphics and displays, I believe it has Intel GMA 950 graphics. Yep, 64 megs of shared system memory. Awful, fireware, of course, 400. Disc burning.
according to that. Apparently this drive works. Like I said, it, it is a bit uh, funky. I'm probably gonna get that replaced. I'll also get a bezel for this eventually when I can actually find one. But yeah, so now this is the end of my video. I, I somehow forgot that. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, see. I'm sorry I couldn't get a, a dump find videos up actually. When I went to the dump today, there was li literally the guys had just taken the bin. I was like, darn it. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.